Here we have a half inch impact gun as well as a three quarter impact gun. Here is a closer look at a half inch impact gun. And here's a closer look at a three quarter impact gun. A box and wrench can be used to apply enough torque to each bolt and get into those hard to reach places. Here is a standard tape measure used to check level and plumb of a mold. A pipe wrench is used to tighten down knockout bars and use for various other jobs. This Allen wrench is used to tighten the bolts in the back of the knockout bars. And here we have a standard set of Allen wrenches used for all types of jobs in the shop. Here you have what is called swivels, also known as eye bolts, and they can range in size from 2 inch being the biggest to 1 quarter of an inch being the smallest. Here in this next clip you are about to see are some of the basic components used during a mold change. Now that you have a basic understanding of the components and tools needed for the mold change, we will now begin to show you step by step process of how a mold change is done. Step 1. When starting on a mold change or working on any machine, it must be locked and tagged. Each die setter is given a lockout and tag. Step 2. Turn off power to thermulators by pressing the stop button on the top and bottom thermulator. Then turn off water valves in the back. Here in step 3, the water is drained from the mold itself through simple ball valves placed at the back non-operator side of the machine. Here we have a can of rust preventive used before closing the mold to do the mold change. Each machine is equipped with an emergency stop button. Before entering a press, make sure you always press it. In step 5, remove all water lines from the mold. After completely spraying the mold down with rust preventive and disconnecting all the water lines, advance ejectors forward, then retract. Now you're able to close the mold.
After closing the mold, place on safety strap. After placing the safety strap on the mold, it is now time to disconnect the knockout bars from the butterfly plate. Now remove both bolts from the back of the butterfly plate. Next, you're now able to place your swivel on top of the mold. Hand tighten swivel until swivel is flushed with the mold. Now, place the crane directly above the swivel and tap up to apply enough pressure so that the chain can hold the mold. Now that the mold is securely connected to the crane, you can begin the unclamping of the mold by simply taking your air gun and removing each bolt and clamp from the mold. Now you have removed all the clamps from the mold except for leaving one clamp attached to the front platen. The reason for it is that when you're removing the knockout bars you don't want the mold to move. Always be sure to operate machine in mold set. Retract platen all the way back then remove your knockout bars. Now that you have retracted the platen all the way back, open the door, press the emergency stop button to ensure your safety, then enter the machine and remove all knockout bars from the mold. Now, once all knockout bars are removed from the mold, remove the final clamp that holds the mold to the platen. Remove this so you're able to pull the mold out of the press.
Always be sure to use the locator ring to align your mold. Once mold is flush with the platen, use your tape measure to ensure level and plumb. Now after aligning the tool, place a couple of clamps on the front platen. Then enter machine and place the knockout bars in the back platen. Once you have placed the knockout bars in the platen, it is time to pull the molds program. Now that the mold program is set, now it's time to make adjustments, bring your platen as close as possible to the mold, then tighten in knockout bars. Take your knockout bars and tighten them tightly into the ejector pucks. Now with your pipe wrench, tighten down each knockout bar. Now that you have closed the platen and set your die height, now it's time to place on all bolts and clamps. Ensure that each clamp is tightened securely. Once all clamps are set, it's now time to hook up your valve gate lines. Now that your hydraulic valve gates are connected, now it is time to lower the crane and remove both swivels from the tool. Once the crane has been moved away from the mold, now it is time to connect the knockout bars to the butterfly plate. Some molds are equipped with hot runners. This mold has a hot runner available, so be sure to connect heater cable and thermocouple. Now, after connecting the DME cables, it's time to remove your safety straps and open the mold. Now that mold is open, now it's time to connect both water lines to the movable and stationary side of the mold.
it is sometimes necessary to use what is called a 90 or an elbow to keep the water lines from rubbing against rails or ribs inside the machine. Once water lines are connected to the mold, turn on all water to the thermolators. Once all ball valves have been opened, now it's time to turn on thermolators and adjust your temperatures. Now that the mold is set, it is now time to set the program for the end of arm tooling. It is now time to change the end of arm tooling. Take orange tabs, spin counterclockwise, remove end of arm from the grooves. Now take the new end of arm, place it in the groove, slide it down, and spin tabs clockwise to tighten. Connect both or all airlines so that tool is functional. Now that the end of arm is set, you are now ready to turn on your DME unit or your hot runners. Go to your job book, open it up, and it will let you know how many zones to turn on. Turn on as many zones as needed and adjust temperature.